Okay, so here's the next board of the solar uh, power system thing. So this is the Modbus board, and uh, again, this is another PCB from PCB GoGo. Um, here's one that I made myself. I'm just going to transfer the, the um, components. So I've got rows of these things, and I, I find these to be very useful uh, for this sort of thing. There we go. So I've got those two ready. And they're going to go in there like that to hold the um, the Arduino. So that's those two. So there are some components I'm going to keep here and some that I won't keep. So I also need little sets of four. So I have the pieces ready, uh, these thin things ready. I'll try to solder these in now, but again it's without without um, blue tack. So it's a little bit awkward. Anyway, let's see if I can do it. Okay, so we've got the main ones on. Now these ones. So I might as well move these move these over. So TXD will go there and raw. Yep, that's fine. So they can go in there. Oh no, they can't actually because I need to put the resistors in place. So what have we got here in regard of resistors? We've got one zero three, so that's ten K and the other one's five K. And here I've got 2k and 1k, but it's the same thing. It's just a voltage divider, so it doesn't really matter too much. As long as the ratios of the resistors are fine, it doesn't really matter. So let's see if I can push these out. Again, I mean, they're only resistors, so if I lose the resistors, it's not the end of the world. They're only a penny each or something like that. But if you can keep them, why not? See if I can pull them out. There we are. There's the 5k and the 10k. So the 5k is just going to be really hot. Yeah, the 5k goes there, and the 10k. Oh, I put on the wrong one there. One goes in there. This one goes in here, right, just like that. Now I've got to hold these in place somehow. Okay, so the resistors are in place. Left. Where's that board? <coughs> so two 150 ohm resistors, and I do ideally need to save these ones because they're a weird value. 
and quite specific I don't want to be spending getting that exact type of resistor okay and next <coughs> So what have I got here? That's some sort of test point. Um, I'll put this in actually. I've got one of these. I'll take these terminal blocks off another time. For now I'll just use this one that I've reclaimed from somewhere else. So we've got ground, A plus and B minus. Right. Solder this in. Okay, next thing, I've got this little test point here. Um, from memory, that's for testing serial output or something. I'm not even sure if I've used it, but uh, that's the next thing anyway. I need something to hold it. Let's try this. There you go, that looks straight, so solve the other one on. Now it's just the LED, which I think I'll save as well. Might as well save it. Um, and there it is. So time to put this in now. So the flat one is ground. You see this little flat? It's like a little flat top on it. Flat means ground. So it goes in there like that. Let's solder this in. And it's pretty much done, other than just the ribbon thing. See, like on this one here, on the relay board, I soldered this little ribbon to it so that I can then solder that to the master control board and uh, it'll keep it nice and tidy. So it needs a ribbon on it. But I suppose that would be very boring to watch me solder that on. So now I'm just going to put these in place. Um, so what goes where now? Ground. So that's going to go there. Like that. And the Arduino. Uh, where's pin 9? Pin 9's there. So that would go there. And there it is. There's the Modbus board. So here's the completed board, and we, from here we've got RX, TX, ground and 5 volts. They're from the microcontroller uh, master area. Here we've got a voltage divider. Here we've got some termination resistors. Uh, they go, or this whole area here goes to the charge controller. So the charge controller uses something called Modbus. Let me just make sure that's right. Yeah, the thing uses Modbus. And the ESP32 can't deal with Modbus, or at least it couldn't at the time. I suspect it's probably still the same now. So you have this converter, or, you know, this converter helps anyway. So you get from one protocol uh, into TTL. That's what this does here. But the ESP32 wasn't very good at dealing with it, whereas the Pro Mini was much better at dealing with it, a real Arduino. So I put the Arduino in here, and the Arduino basically talks to this and talks to the SP32 at the same time. So it asks this, which technically is the charge controller, for some data. The charge controller comes back and says, here you go, here's the data. Then this posts uh, the data to the SP32 serially over the two lines, or technically the one line, which would be TX. And this little LED here, it blinks whenever it gets some data from this. So if it doesn't get any data, it doesn't blink. And when it does get data, it does blink, which should be, I think it's once a second or something like that. I can't really remember. But yeah, that's the next board done. So these here, this thing here, is um, for the signal in order to connect to the uh, charge controller. So technically, I don't need this jumper here. I could get rid of it, but, you know, what's the point? I might as well just keep it on for the time being. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And this is the second board. Uh, for the 
solar power system. So here's the first, well, you know, here's one board, here's the other board. So now we've got two boards. That's the Modbus board, that's the relay board. The next board that I show you will be the master control board, which has got all of the, um, well, what can I say? It's got the ESP32 on it, a load of resistors, um, and space to connect these other devices or boards together. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye!